My name is Yaniv from Salt Security, and I'm here to talk to you about the recent updates to OWASP API Top 10. OWASP released the new API Top 10, mapping the biggest and most impactful API security issues in the internet today. So these changes didn't just came from a vacuum. They are actually related to real cases that we've seen in the internet and that we at Salt Lab see every day. They are very important and they reflect the way that APIs and the tech of APIs evolve and change throughout the time. And we at Salt monitor these changes very closely in order to to understand how to protect our customers best from these API attacks. So what didn't change from the OWASP API 2019 version? BOLA, or Broken Object Level Authorization. It maintained its ranking as the most impactful vulnerability, and rightfully so. One of the major things that APIs do is expose resources. If you can access a resource, whether it's for a read operation or a write operation, where you don't have the permission to do it, then that's a very serious vulnerability, and that is what BOLA is. OWASP API number two, which is broken authentication. Any flow within this authentication process, then you have API 2 on your hands, API 4. Any attack that will try to consume the resources, whether there are memory resources, I.O. resources, CPU resources, network resources, bandwidth resources, or anything else. API 5. If the API wasn't meant to post information, and it does, then you have a BFLA. API 8 is a very large category and it contains every possible security misconfiguration that you can make in your APIs, whether it's directly on the APIs, the supporting backend, or anything else. API 9, API developers and maintainers are not actually aware of all the APIs that they have published in the internet. Then when there are such APIs and endpoints that you are unaware of, then this is API 9 in proper inventory management. But what's really interesting about the new OSP API Top 10, of course, is what did change. API 3 is Broken Object Property Level Authorization. If BOLA was looking at the object level, then this category will be looking into the properties of this object. So you don't have only have to protect the permissions to the object itself, but also you need to have permissions for each specific property of this object. If you fail to put proper permissions, then you have a BOPLA condition. API 6. Sometimes there is actually no vulnerability. Think about a very interesting use case. Find some airline that sells tickets with no cancellation fees, and I can just go and purchase 80% of the airplane seats, and then two or three days before the flight, cancel all my tickets, and that will actually force the airline to lower the ticket prices because they want to fill the airplane. And once they do, I just go and buy a ticket in a much lower price that I could buy in the first place. The only time where you can see the problem is when you zoom out and you look at the entire chain of requests in the context of the business flow. API 7, server-side request forgery. This is, of course, a very well-known vulnerability if you ever looked at web security before, but the addition to APIs means that this vulnerability is now specifically targeting APIs, and we in Salt Lab actually encounter cases of SSRF in a lot of the research projects that we do. So we can say for sure that this vulnerability deserves its place in the OWASP API Top 10 list. OWASP API 10, unsafe consumption of APIs. If your API interacts with a third-party API and it's completely out of your control and trusting it is the wrong thing to do, because if this third-party API will get compromised, then you will have an API 10 condition. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to learn more about OWASP API Top 10, please go ahead and download our ebook and learn a lot more about it.